All right, rocker. Little Walter's rocker. It's playing an A harp in second position. Gonna break down the, the intro here for you. Tabs are something I like to use to keep motivated on the harp. Like I've said before, it is very important to practice things at your skill level, but it's also very important to have fun. And tabs are a great way to have fun. You know, a lot of people strive for the Little Walter sound, and, and having a Little Walter tab is a great way to stay motivated playing something that, that he played. Two draw whole step bend into the two draw. And then he's tongue slapping the two draw. And then he moves to the three draw whole step bend back to the two draw. A little bit of a tricky embouchure combination at that speed. Then he goes back to scooping into the two draw, slapping the two draw, and then throws it down to the one draw and he throws the one draw to the bent one draw. Sort of like a horn would do. Let's play that all together really slow. This is of my favorite stuff ever recorded. 1955, Little Walter, 25 years old, in his heyday. He's playing with the Myers Brothers and Fred Bilo on the drums. And I mean, I, th I think the Myers Brothers, two guitar players, I think they were a little bit tighter musicians than Muddy Waters and Jimmy Rogers. I think maybe not tighter musicians, but they were just into a little bit a little bit more complex music, like a little bit more into the jazz scene. And that really allowed little Walter to to, to explore more. Recommendations for topics are always welcome in the comments. Send me a personal message, you know, if you're if you're working on a tune or whatever, if there's something you're stuck on, I'll do my best. I mean I'm not gonna I'm not gonna learn how to overbend to teach you how to overbend but I mean if it's something I've I've worked on in, in my past I'll I'll absolutely share with you